Hey guys, this is Ray Kingster with another video on how to make your LCPDFR mod work properly for the GTA 4. So this is the this is the problem which most of you people have. So either the GTA 4 will not start properly, or else the LCPDF, LCPDFR just won't work at all. So I have a fix for this. So let's just let's just get right into it. So <coughs> first you have to go to gta4mods.com slash tools and I'll have the I have the link on the description so just go click the link and just download this GTA 4 ASI loader version 1.0.2.0p and then what you do is go to another link called GTA Vision I'll have the link in down below just click download now button and it'll start downloading after you download you'll have two separate files like this ASI loader and the same so once you open ASI loader you'll have DSAM DLL you have to copy this into your GTA 4 directory. I'll show you once again. Basically, this is this. So just open GTA 4 directory and you just copy this to this. I've, I've already done that, so you can see that. So then you have to click this and copy script hook.dll and script hook.net and copy paste it over here this place so then you have nothing to worry about half of your problem solved now click lcpdfr.com then basically they'll tell you to create uh, they'll tell you to create an account over here it's totally free don't worry I've already created one over there just create a create an account after you do that uh, just keep your keep your mouse over the downloads thing and click the lcpd first response the first one and they'll show you LCPD, yeah, 0.95 RC2 R2. Just download that, it's a download link, then just totally fully install it properly and just, just follow the instructions. They'll tell you to have, they'll, but just remember, guys, you need to have a totally legit copy of GDA4 before doing this. So I have, I have my CD, this is my legit copy of GDA4, so I don't have anything to worry about. After you do that, you have something called CBDFR first response dot you you normally you'll just have it in your other thing GDA4 directory you don't need to worry about that they'll install that for you directly then next what happens is you click this and it says GDA4 is stopped working so what do you do now you, nothing this is nothing to worry about it'll totally work don't delete anything from that just right click launch GDA4 run as administrator this will solve your problem and two errors will show like this application uh, dot testing click OK again click OK nothing nothing will happen the game will start properly and it will start working so that's about it guys most of your pro that's it and this is how to make LCPDFR work and most of the mods even work like this even the zombie mod which I have I'll show you guys in a minute I have something called Liberty City uh, left for the body city. This is also a great mod, a zombie mod. Like you can start an infection directly, and you can like live inside the infection. How it will, it's like real life infection. So you have to know, you can download that also. I have the link down below. So that's it, guys. For now, I'll show you the gameplay right now. And the gameplay is right. It's coming up next. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hey guys. Now I'll show you the totally working LCPDFR mod. And it totally works, believe me. And we just get right into the game, okay? I'll just skip this and all for you guys. So, here, I'll show you how this works. So, just get out of your safe first. first. Oh, shoot! Oh, come on, man, seriously? So. So, just press all plus P to start the thing. Welcome to the LCPDFR drive to the nearest police station to go on duty. I'll just show you that in a minute. So, the police station will be like this on your map. Star one. Just, just have a waypoint to it. Oh, uh, guys, sorry guys, it's lagging because I'm just recording this gameplay, so lags like hell, I don't know why this lags. 
so you just go to that police station and I'll show you what happened. I'm here guys, so what you'll basically s oh no, don't, don't, don't. Okay, what you'll basically see is that red marker like that over there. No, 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 I don't want to get busted right now. I'm shooting a video, goddamn. Just go to, yes, tower. So, you go to the red marker and it'll take you right into the police station. So just press E for an introduction. I won't do that right now, it's really long. So you just have to go inside this to just go on duty. And you'll be able to select your character right now. So this is the character selection. You can choose a lot of characters right now. I think this is the best one right now. So after this, you'll be able to play as a complete police officer. So for more shortcuts, still have lots of things like all plus one sec. All plus you to have put your cap on. I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. All plus you, you'll have your cap on. So. How do you see the list of controls over there? Is you, you just press shift and tab button. And you'll get all of the other things, you know, the key combinations for the different stuff. So basically you go through that and enjoy guys. This is the best mod. And you can download lots of mods like the zombie mod and all that stuff. So go and do that also. So that's all guys for now. Keep watching for more gameplay videos and more how-to videos. So bye guys, have a nice day. Thank you.